Lot there, and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Zombie Royale, which isn't working. So I'm going to skip all the preamble, and we'll just skip straight to the looking at the description. I did buy the game, um, hoping to play it, uh, and then when I downloaded it, it was only a meg big, and then it brought me to this uh, to a screen like this that had an install button, which I clicked and installed, and I think it was another 12 megs or something. Um, and then uh, this screen now says available for download on June 22nd. So today's the 31st of March. Um, and then when I click here, we get a, uh, a little button there that says, um, there should be ZR data folder next to the executable, but there isn't, of course. Um, so we're just sort of, we, we can't play. So let's go look at the description and see what the game is purporting to be selling us. All right, Zombie Royale. Get ready for a battle royale experience full of zombies on a huge map for 100 players. Okay, uh, developed by Warrior Game Studios. It's using, that, um, it's using that font, that zombie font or whatever, which I'm pretty sure is for free on dafont.com or whatever. Um, so it currently costs $13.84 on a 15% discount. Great, um, except for it does not function at all. Uh, about, Zombie Royale takes place on the Atlanta map. Of course, why, what other map would it be on? Where you can fight against giant zombie armies. With a server capacity of 100 people, you can create your own team and customize their weapons. Okay. Unlike other Battle Royale games, you have to fight against zombie hordes and survive while fighting rival players on the map. Battle Royale. While fighting against other rival players in Zombie Royale, you also fight against zombie hordes. A different Battle Royale experience awaits you. Map. Map. Zombie Royale takes place on the Atlanta map. There are 24 different vehicle types and dozens of different weapon types on the map. Servers. You can experience a battle, battle royale with up to 100 people on official servers and continue to experience battle royale without lag or any problems. You can access official servers with uh, DDoS and anti-cheat protection from within the game. Um, so, June 22nd, first preload, right. Zombie royale servers will be active on June 22nd and the game will be officially accessible on June 22nd. The game can currently only be installed as a launcher. Right, I didn't read that. Because, what? How is that a, um, how is that a thing? I don't understand what the purpose of that is. Why, why would you charge people for, for a game? You're, this isn't like a well-known IP. We're not talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare where people are preloading because they know 100% they're going to play. This is a brand new game from, I'm assuming, a first time developer. Um, and just based on what we can see, we've got some really static looking shots of a city, which kind of looks like it's from um, uh, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, kinda, it kind of looks like their screenies taken from another game. But I'm not sure. You know, I, I, I honestly don't know. That that definitely looks like dead, looks like dead light, dead by daylight. Um, none of this looks like gameplay. And if we go here, there's no video or anything. So there's no gameplay. They're trying to get. They want you to buy the game to preload the launcher for 13 bucks. Sure. Feedback. The Zombie Royale project continues to be actively developed. Please do not forget to send us your feedback or notifications as part of the development process. Yeah, here's my feedback. Don't sell me a launcher for 13 bucks. I, I just, I don't want it. I, like, I, I don't, I, I don't even understand the, the thinking behind that. Um, like if there was like a short demo that allowed you to play on the map without the servers, you know, the servers weren't live. Um, where you could play on the map and you could like kill some zombies and sort of see what the what the feel of the game was. Then I could see that. I could see that as a way to build hype, as a way to get people on board for the launch. So that when you try and launch your massively multiplayer game with 100 person servers, which, by the way, 
good luck with that. Good luck because it's it's just not they're not going to get full man. It's just not going to happen. Um yeah. Like Chivalry 2 is a really fun game and uh they they roll with they have a 64 person server um for big epic battles and they start those servers when you hit the about 48. And you can usually get into the those games because that's quite a good game and it's got a well uh grooved pedigree behind it you know people know about it and stuff people like that game um but uh i tried to i recently tried to load into star wars battlefront 2 and the only games i could get into were four player co-op and even then it was because i had two people with me um we tried to get into like the bigger maps and stuff just it's not gonna happen there's too many things competing for people's time you're never gonna get 100 people in this game um let's look at warrior game studios yeah so they're a first time developer very first time developer and they've pu they've put onto steam a launcher for their game i have no words i mean i guess it is in the it is in the thing down here but the, down here, they've just used these black boxes. There's not even any visuals and stuff. And the stuff up here looks like they're... St look, the visuals here look like they're stolen from another game. It looks like it's just straight up ripped off from other games. Other better games. Like, what is going on with that? Like, yeah. Anyways, um, I don't have a lot more to say about this. Uh, don't just... Don't try and sell a launcher. Yeah, why don't you make your game or if you're going to do something like this there needs to be some reason that people would want to buy it there has to be something behind it something that they get for buying it early so far you've just you've launched it at the end of march here march 31st and or march 30th and then you're saying that uh i'm gonna keep this launcher on my desktop for the next three months just bad just so bad yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. That's Zombie Royale, I guess. Uh, maybe we'll come back in three months when it actually is playable. And then we can explore the big empty servers, the asset-filled maps, and the uh, bad AI zombies. That's just me guessing. I'm just stabbing in the dark there. I could, I'm very happy to be proven wrong. But that's what I reckon will actually happen if there actually is even a release in June. So... Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Check out this not game by clicking on the link in the description. And I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.